If you've ever wondered what it would be like to become a ghost, to be invisible, undetectable and untraceable, well today might be your lucky day. I'm about to review a VPN from a company called CyberGhost. Now unfortunately this product won't let you sneak around your neighbourhood without being seen, but it will let you connect to the internet without leaving a virtual footprint. So let's jump straight into it and see what all the fuss is about, they're highly talked about. And as usual, if there is any discounts or deals, I will put a link below in the description so you can take full advantage of that. Now when you first get onto their website, you'll find that it's a nice and simple layout. You never feel like they're being too pushy towards making a sale, and there's a lot of useful information. Some of which is information that I haven't actually seen being given on other VPN sites before. As an example, there's a topic on VPN server structures, which really does help you to understand how these servers actually work. They also have a privacy hub section. This is extremely useful and it teaches you things such as how to remove your data from some of the large web companies like Facebook and Yahoo, for example. It's a great read for not only CyberGhost customers themselves, but for internet users in general. CyberGhost is available for Windows, Mac and a few of the Linux based operating systems as well. On top of that they have mobile apps for both Android and iOS and they also have optimised apps for Android TVs plus the Amazon Fire Stick. They also provide a manual setup guide for a host of other devices. If you click the link in the description below it will take you to their website so you can check if it's compatible with yours. And not only this, one of my favourite features is they actually have a browser extension for both Chrome and Firefox. These extensions will only protect you whilst you're using the browser itself and they do have limited locations where you can browse from but if all you're doing is surfing the web they're a great way to connect and protect in the fastest way possible. So although these browser extensions are a little limited, the best thing about them, they're completely free. Now as with a lot of VPN apps, when you open it up you're greeted with a quick connect button. This is great for if you don't want to choose a server or you're not fussed about the location that you're going to be browsing from, you can hit this button and it will connect you to the fastest possible option. However, if you'd rather choose manually where you want to be browsing from, you can do just that. And unlike some VPNs which limit you to country locations or city locations, you can actually go a little bit further and you can choose individual servers within these locations, so you have a whole host of options available to you. They have specialised servers for both streaming and torrenting, and you can also compile a list of your favourite servers so that next time you log on, you can access these more easily. There's a connection features tab and in here you can enable or disable settings like ad tracker blocking, malware detection and forced HTTPS. There's a unique data compressor feature which not a lot of VPNs have and it saves bandwidth and speeds up the loading times by compressing the images and videos and other parts of the web pages that you're browsing. They also have a smart rules section. This is great if you really want to customise your VPN. You can set it up to do specific things. For example, you can make the app automatically connect when using a specific program. You can make connection rules that are unique to your Wi-Fi network, so if you're browsing on a different Wi-Fi network, these rules will be ignored. Or you can make it automatically start up your browser as soon as a VPN connection has been established. If you find certain websites or apps which don't work too well with a VPN, such as Google Maps or something that requires location data, then you can always add these to the exceptions list. This means that your standard internet connection will be used when using these certain apps or programs. The mobile apps offer pretty much the exact same experience. It's a very similar layout and the same features, including the kill switch and the leak protection. You can also make use of the smart rules on your mobile device. Now something that I always look for when I'm reviewing a VPN is how many servers they have to connect to and how many different locations you can browse from. Well with CyberGhost they have nearly 5,000 servers and you can connect to 61 different countries. So I certainly didn't feel let down in this area of the VPN. Some VPN companies make use of virtual servers so they can expand their list of countries that are available to browse from. This can be a slight concern to some customers, although they do make use of some virtual servers, they always make sure the virtual server location is in the same location as their physical servers. So whichever country it says you're connected to, you can be sure there's a physical server there as well, and this means that from the user end you really will never notice a difference whether you're connected to a physical server or a virtual server. Another important factor when trying to decide which VPN to go for is obviously going to be speed. Now if we look at the typical rules, we'd usually like to hope that a connection from a server which is quite nearby to your location, you should only be seeing a reduction in speed of about 20% from your base speed. 
and if you're looking at connecting to a distant server halfway around the world for example, you hope to get speeds within about 50% of your base speed. Upon testing these speeds, I found that on average, CyberGhost didn't quite reach the highest highs compared with some of the other VPNs out there, but it certainly fell well within the speed range that was more than acceptable to me. Local servers were connecting at about a 10 to 15% reduction from the base speed, and when we're talking about very distant servers, we're approaching 40 to 45% reduction, but again, that's acceptable, is more than enough to do what I need to do online, and it definitely falls within the typical range of a high class VPN. Now when it comes to streaming, something that a lot of us VPN users are looking for, CyberGhost doesn't hold back. They pride themselves on being one of the best in this field and it's easy to see why. Sites like Netflix are always looking for ways to block VPNs, but CyberGhost always seem to be one step ahead. They have an ever-changing roster of IP addresses, meaning if a streaming site blocks one IP address, a brand new one is readily available, making sure that you can still connect. It works with a large variety of streaming sites, including, but not limited to, the US, UK, French and German Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, BBC iPlayer, Hulu, HBO Now, ESPN and YouTube. But the list doesn't stop there. They really do have a very large library of sites that you can stream from all across the globe using this VPN. So next up, I took a look at the security side of this VPN. I wanted to see how many protocols they had available compared with their competitors. Now usually a VPN might have one to two protocols, but CyberGhost actually offer four protocols. Some offering better protection and some offering better speed. So it really does give you multiple options when it comes to this preference. Now if security is one of your main reasons for wanting to use a VPN, then CyberGhost is definitely worth looking at. The main reason for this is their no spy servers. You'll find that most of their competitors do not offer these types of servers. What they are, rather than renting their servers from a third party like a lot of these VPN providers do, they actually own and operate their own servers, meaning that outside of CyberGhost's employees, nobody else will ever have access to these servers. So if you're working in a position of power, maybe something high up in the government, or if you're a journalist, or anything really where you simply cannot risk anybody being able to access any of your private information, then CyberGhost is certainly the way forward. A feature which is very popular among VPN users is a kill switch. This is something which will basically terminate your internet connection should the VPN disconnect for any reason, so that you're never actually risking being online when you're not connected to one of the secure VPNs. So overall their security is top notch, and on the privacy side of things they have a no logging policy to match. What this means is there's no record of your browsing activity, your IP address, timestamps, server locations, or anything else that relates to your internet usage. As a matter of fact, not only is this information not stored, the records are never even created in the first place. Another subject which is important to VPN users is torrenting. They do allow torrenting and they have dedicated P2P servers just for this. And these servers are quite clearly labelled so you'll know if you're connected to the right ones. The reason why they keep their torrenting servers separate from the rest is firstly so they don't overuse the bandwidth on all of their servers so that for other users they still get the maximum speeds possible. But also there are countries such as America and Australia which have very strict copyright laws. Therefore CyberGhost won't allow you to use these particular servers for torrenting to avoid any legal repercussions they might get from this. But there's still plenty of servers available when you want to torrent. These include locations in Japan, Canada and most of Europe. And when using these specialised P2P servers for your torrenting, it really is a smooth and easy experience. As you'd expect from one of the top VPN providers, they have a great customer support section. You can either choose the live chat option to chat to an agent, or you can open a support ticket. They're helpful and knowledgeable, and they can assist you with a wide range of issues. And not only that, their response times are great, so you don't have to wait too long to get your problem resolved. Now on all of their payment plans, they offer unlimited bandwidth and they allow the use of seven devices simultaneously. You can save money if you opt to get a longer contract with them or you can just pay month by month so you can cancel at any point. If you require a dedicated IP, you can add this onto your plan for an extra $5 a month. And when it comes to their money back guarantee, for the monthly plans, they offer a 14 day money back guarantee. And for the plans above that, they offer a 45 day money back guarantee. This is more than the average 30 day money back guarantee that most VPN providers offer. You can get their subscription using all of the standard card payment methods. As well as this, you can also use PayPal and Bitcoin. 
So with all this information, is CyberGhost the VPN for you? Well, there's a couple of reasons why you might want to check out the other reviews of other VPNs that I'll put in the description. For example, if the main thing you're looking for is a high-speed connection, although CyberGhost servers are very fast indeed, there are options out there that can be slightly quicker. And unfortunately, there is no split tunneling feature. So if split tunneling is something that's important to you, it's definitely worth checking out the other reviews in the description. Other than that, they have all the features that you'd expect from a top VPN. So if you're looking to be invisible online, they're definitely one that I would recommend. Now, as with most VPN providers, from time to time, they change their discounts and deals that are available. So what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description so that you can be sure you're getting the best deal when you click that. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something and I will catch you on the next one.